Another thing is before you pack up your clothes, if they're linty, make sure to remove the lint before, before folding them up and before packing them up. It's probably also a good idea to fold it inside out so that way the front doesn't get messed up from whatever, from anything. So especially cashmere sweaters, make sure they're folded inside out. And wool sweaters, etc. This is a great thing right here for clothes that easily wrinkle. Comes with this hard rectangular plastic and it tells you how to fold the clothes in. So I have about <clears throat> five dresses here. I just laid them out like that. I'm gonna be putting this plastic on top and I will be just folding it over. one by one from the bottom to the top. Just fold it over like this. And it's sealed. This is a 27 by 19 inches. Luggage. I'm gonna to try to fit our clothes there. This is actually gonna be for four people going on a trip for a month to Italy. So I've got four pairs of pants on here. I guess it's a medium size because it says M there. So I'm just gonna fold it up like this. Yeah, these are really great. So you wouldn't have to wear anything. So I put my son's shirts and socks and underwear in this bag here. It's a big square that zips up. And my daughter's clothes are in this one, in, a, in the pink one. Her dresses, shorts, and um, tights, shirts, and sweaters. And I put her underwear, socks, and bathing suit in a separate, a smaller one, since they didn't all fit in that one. So as you can see, you can actually stack them up like this in a big duffel bag or separate them in uh, luggage. So I've already put my son's jeans and sweatpants in the same duffel bag as my husband's. And the shirts and underwear and socks will be on this side. And this is actually full. Ready to go. I just put my daughter's clothes in this luggage. So in these little bags, I have um, my shorts and skirts and other stuff. And in there I have sweaters and t-shirts. In this one I've got underwears and socks. So let's see if all of these items will fit in that big suitcase. Uh, this is for four people, mom, dad, and two children. Since some of our bags look the same, same colors and same shapes, um, I've marked them. So these ones with the black are mine. So I've put everything in the suitcase. Let's see if I can close it. So I actually end up putting more stuff inside this suitcase. Some presents, a few more items I added in there, and I've already closed this side. 
in this uh, 24 inches by 16 inches, I've got some pulled up chairs in there. I actually have four chairs in there and a small table by um, Helenox. They're great for travel. Right there. Some water shoes. And in here I've got some towels and um, a few sheets and a couple of uh, small pillows. So we're going to be driving everywhere, so we're going to need all this stuff. So I've added more shoes, like four pairs of shoes in there. Okay, so I've managed to close this up. And actually this is expandable, so is the other one. So I had to expand it, I had to unzip that, and that's another maybe one and a half inches. So it's actually 12 and a half inches thick, this um, luggage. So these two are the two luggages we're going to be taking with us for 30 days. And in this big large duffel bag, um, we have two um, light vests for the kids, some towels, and um, other stuff we're gonna miscellaneous items that we have in fact up small things um, probably toiletries and a few other stuff 